Now you see, okay, like staring off, it looks bad, right? Well, when you extend it a little bit longer and it's unedited, you see a different story. You see that Biden briefly turned away and walked over, not to the middle of nowhere, but to give a thumbs up to several parachutists, which you actually see them there, along with a parachute rigger who is kneeling on the ground. So he wasn't just wandering off, right? He was What is going on with Biden and Trump right now? There's no way I'm voting for Don McCon, who is a corrupt, selfish entertainer. Well, ain't no way I'm voting for Slow Joe, who only knows how to be woke. We got to talk about this new New York Times article, Andrew, how misleading videos are trailing Biden as he battles age doubts. They're trying to say that the video clips have been doctored. Other people are getting at Trump because he said this wild statement about UFC. Let's run the clips. Why don't you set up a migrant league? of fighters and have your regular league of fighters and then you have the champion of your league these are the greatest fighters in the world fight the champion of the migrants i think the migrant guy might win that's how tough they are boom listen i'm telling you the upcoming debate is going to be crazy because andrew both of these clips basically just lean into stereotypes that everybody even including independents or moderates have about each candidate andrew because biden looks senile and trump just looks like Ridiculous, I guess not serious. Yeah, so I guess we are going to be seeing at the debate on Thursday how each of them do. Maybe Biden surprises everybody, maybe not. I don't know what's going to happen, man. I'm telling you, listen, I saw an article that's saying that Republicans are asking for a drug test after the debate because they think he's going to be so hopped up on stimulants, stimulants to seem sharp. Oh, you mean Biden? Yeah, Biden will be. And honestly, guys, there's probably cognitive decline on both sides. I would say that maybe Biden is realistically at, what, a 6 out of 10 brain atrophy? Mm. And then Trump might be at, like, 2 to 3, maybe 2.5? Yeah. Uh, well, guys, uh, obviously, with a lot of political topics, you know, things get really heated in the uh, comment section. But maybe we'll talk about also, after we go through these clips and discuss them, why maybe... It doesn't really matter who wins. Maybe it just doesn't matter. But, the Titanic is, is going to hit the iceberg regardless of who's the captain. Mm. Anyway, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, check out Smile Sauce at smilelessauce.com. Andrew, it, does this make America look like a laughingstock country or is it still a superpower country? I guess just going through an interesting moment uh, globally. Uh, I, I think America has been perceived as a kind of weird and funky and kind of like a, a laughable country for some time now, despite America still be a great country. It's still a great country um, for a ton of reasons. Right, still better than most other countries. Still a great country to start a business, make money. Uh, it's the center of the world still, but it's, man, this election has been embarrassing. And you know what I've noticed that, uh, and maybe this is typical to the beta male stereotype that Democrats have, a lot of them are starting to give up already and starting to point fingers within the party. Wow. Because Trump is leading in the polls and the key swing states, as you guys know, it really just boils down to five or six states that swing this way or that way due to the electoral college. And uh, basically what I would say is this, in terms of both candidates' age, Biden probably would never be allowed to drive a car Andrew, and Trump would not be allowed to drive a car a far distance. Like, I literally think that that's like a good way of saying where their cognition abilities are at. Mm. Anyway, let's just take a look at the replies to the New York Times article. This is, these are uh, mostly comments from people within the left, Andrew. Point number one, someone said, yes, there are edited videos that make Biden seem old and at times confused, but there are also unedited videos that make him look old and at times confused. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I don't doubt that certain videos are edited because people can edit whatever videos, but essentially, if you can't keep seeing video after video of him looking slow and spacing out uh well basically acting like an 80 year old right yeah yeah i'm just saying like there's there's something to it you can't say there's nothing to it right now right, right. is it is his brain as mushy as republicans would like to say maybe not but is he on top of things 
I think it's pretty clear. Right, right. Let's just say the Democrats are trying to save the uh, sell the cognitive decline at like 1.5 out of 10, and uh, Dem- uh, Republicans are trying to sell Biden's cognitive decline at 8.5 out of 10. The truth is probably like near a five, right. maybe 5.5, just you know, just based off what I've seen. Uh, point number two: telling people that they are not seeing what they are seeing won't work. That goes to your point, Andrew. A lot of people are just really sick about it. Uh, but somebody said. Well, why can't Democrats just act like Trump supporters and pretend like they didn't see that silly thing that their favorite leader did? Right, right, right. Well, isn't that the thing that I guess like people are saying that Republicans tend to be more down for the squad or better teammates than the left is? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I always turn to Jordan Klepper from the Daily Show who does interview a lot of extreme MAGA people at the rallies. Obviously, those videos are edited. I'm sure he talks to some people who more know what they're talking about. But some of those people have ridiculous answers, man. Like, they really do not keep up. So I think that there is an expectation that Democrats are more educated, more woke, more hip, more on top of things so that they are more, uh, I guess, hyper aware of all these bad things about Biden. So they're not as, like, blindly on the team. Right, you're saying the Democrats are more aware of Biden's flaws than... MAGA people are aware of Trump's flaws. That, that's how it seems, for sure. Point number three, Andrew. Trump confidently says a lot of wild stuff that would obviously make a lot more sense for somebody being a TV host than an actual presidential candidate. Dude, this guy, Trump, and I would say this about his cognitive ability. I don't think it has taken as much of a decline as Biden, but this guy is really seems like not serious. Like, considering... <laughs> America is considered in decline and this president's uh this presidency is so important. Uh he's making a lot of jokes. And Trump has always made jokes, but he but, hey, yo, he's pretty good at making jokes. He he is a funny guy. And I think that's honestly why people they would prefer the transparent, lively, jokester criminal of Trump versus this uh old timer, like spacing out less energetic Joe Biden. Essentially. Right, right, right. By the way, here is a clip to be fair of Trump confusing Nancy Pelosi and Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley, you know, they did you know they destroyed all of the information, all of the evidence, everything deleted and destroyed all of it, all of it because of lots of things like Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people. Soldiers, National Guard, so whatever they want, they turned it down. Boom, Andrew, point number four, we got to talk about this. What do you think about decisions by committee versus the permanent state? So, for example, a lot of people feel like Trump is a wild card, right? Like he doesn't work within the pre-established systems in Washington very well. He maybe wants to replace them with his own people if he can. If he can't, he'll wrestle with them, even people within his own party. He kind of wants to do what he wants to do. Biden is considered a lot more of an institutionalized Democrat Mm -hmm. where he's more like, working within DC. He's been, he spent his whole career in DC. He's not a businessman. He's like, he understands what is the permanent state, what he can shift, doesn't shift. But maybe he also just makes decisions at this point because his cognitive decline is so high by committee. Right. Basically, like it's the DNC running America versus Biden. And a lot of people say that if Biden were to pass away or just be removed as president, Kamala will become president, but Kamala's probably not going to be busting a bunch of audibles like Trump would. She would also make decisions in her presidency by committee. Right, right, right. Yeah, because you have to understand, there's like these gigantic apparatuses behind these two people, but Trump is a little bit more of a wild card. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people actually think that that wild card could potentially, I guess, jeopardize democracy too. Right, right, right. Anyway, let's just get into our takeaways, Andrew. I just think it's two incredibly flawed people right now. We're talking about a 78-year-old and an 81-year-old. Almost anybody would say there's clearly cognitive decline. Anybody who's been around somebody who's 80 years old, they're slow. I mean, mm. you really, your brain really starts to slow down, Andrew, when you're 70. Mm. Um, what do you think about people hating? Man, I hate it when people say both sides are the same. Both sides are not the same. Do you agree, disagree? Because, you know, I know some, like, it's tough to say because both sides are the same and they're not the same depending on what tier of their issues you're looking at. Uh, do you think people say they're, they're the same, not for policy reasons, but because both sides are are greedy, self-interested, and not thinking about half of the country. 
Right. I would say that that's true, but I would say that both sides actually are not going to challenge two things. Uh, basically, the basic pillars of how American capitalism runs and corporatism, which is the general arc, if you study it, of like corporations figuring out systems much better than citizens can and corporations beginning to dictate American policy more and more increasingly every year. Right. So I don't right. think either side. Now, you could argue about what social issues or social reactionary issues do or do not stem from those things because you could argue not everything's connected to those two things, but you could also argue that those are the neck spine that connects to everything. Mm. You know how all the nerve endings got to go through the neck into the brain? Like you could argue that those two things are really at the crux of everything. Right. And I don't think anybody's trying to fix those. Obviously you saw Bernie always trying to talk about it, but even people in his own party don't care about Bernie. Mm. And I'm not saying, you know, who knows on an execution basis, would it have, or would it not have worked? Also, Andrew, how much peep do you think the president matters at this point? If theoretically, Andrew, America is a Titanic about to hit some type of iceberg. We don't know if it's the iceberg, the same tier as the Titanic hit, or it's just a little ice cap that it's going to get rocked by and then power through. How much is switching the captain going to change that? Uh... Well, I think America is headed for some rough patches regardless. Like you're saying it's going to hit some ice. Yeah. And which president do you feel the safest with, I guess? Which I really think it's so hard to it's so hard to make the right decision based off what we've seen from each person. Both people have been presidents before. You've seen what they've done. You see the things that they say. And so I don't know. I mean, there is a, a good things that Biden has done that have happened under Biden's watch. And I think those things honestly do get underrated. I honestly think so. And this is not me being like a huge supporter. I'm just saying like everybody's so stuck in their ways. You know, Trump supporters are like, oh, when Trump was president, the world had, had no peace, da, 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 all these things. Uh, my life was good, you know. And I, to be honest, it's if that's the feeling people have embedded inside of them, it's so hard to change that because that's just how people feel right? Like maybe crime went down or crime went down in certain cities, but people don't feel safe. So it doesn't, so almost it, it doesn't matter. So I guess like, uh, uh, and even if violent crime did go down in a macro sense, and I, you know, we got to drop a video about that. Cause I think there's a lot of nuance to that. It's like, if nonviolent crime soared way up, then people still don't like the way society's headed. Yeah. You know, I don't feel safe or feel great with either one of them. Right. I don't know if that's a cop-out answer. Right, right, right. And of course, guys, like we said, nobody's arguing on issues. Everybody's arguing on like sound bites right now. There's uh, my, my, you know, illegal immigrations on the board, wars, inflation. We're talking about ballooning debt. That's more of like a geopolitical macroeconomic thing that a lot of people don't understand. Of course, the way the executive branch plays with the Congress and the judicial branch and the federal systems and stuff like that, these are all stuff you learn in like, American politics 101 in high school, but everybody forgets them because there's this whole systems of checks and balances. I, I guess David, what do you feel about guys the, in your squad on that team? And working. what do you think about the sentiment though? And maybe this is the way to wrap up the video is like, um, when people are like, you know what? I don't care who wins, but just be good to people, man. Just say hi, say how you doing, work hard, follow the rules. Is that too simple? Does that sound more conservative or liberal or left or right or does that where does that sound like i feel like i, I've I agree with you that neither candidate is talking about what you need to do like in the way jfk said ask not what your country can do for you but what you can do for your country and perhaps right now people just need to be more civil more nice more kind uh i don't know how to say it like more just good to each other mm. and you're right nobody's saying it because i think everybody sees the ship about to hit an iceberg you don't know if it's a deep iceberg or it's an ice cap but everybody's pointing fingers at each other and like you said i mean let us know what you guys think in the comments section below everybody's pointing fingers until next time we the hop hop boys we out peace, peace.